what's going on guys bob roach from roachtechnology.com here with a quick unboxing for you of the peer gear reshield i guess i'm going to call this a pack uh, this was sponsored by peergear.com so be sure to check the link out down there in the description if you've been following my channel for any length of time you'll know i've reviewed tons of peer gear products and i absolutely love them all i'm not just saying that guys they really make some great products not just for ios devices but also for many different android devices as well so if you look at the packaging here of the reshield and i guess i will say before going on in case you couldn't tell by, you know, the, the shield in the name, these are screen protectors for multiple different devices, whether, like I said, Android, iOS. Uh, so this is a pack. I don't, I'm really not sure what's in here at the moment, but uh, just on the packaging here, work, play, life. So um, actually, dyslexia kicking in, work, life, play. So I'm going to go ahead and just you know, take out this little flap here. And inside we have a dude introducing reshield and of course there is a uh, qr code i apologize my lighting isn't the best this is the best i could do at the moment but uh, go ahead and scan that qr code get you instant information about this product but as you can see right here here's a look at you know what the product looks like all you need rethink screen protection with reshield so i've been looking over these on the website and apparently these are just you know a very easy kind of like a one press solution and kind of similar to the roll on screen shield if you look back on my channel a bit you'll see i did a review for them of the roll on screen shield kit which was really nice really convenient way to put on a screen shield no air bubbles that's something that drives me absolutely nuts with screen protectors is air bubbles Pure Gear seems to have really good solutions for getting rid of those, so very good stuff there. And so, wow, we have a plethora of stuff here, so I'll take all this stuff out, and uh, that's all we have in here, so I'll move this off to the side. And now getting back into what we have here, here's a reshield for the iPhone 4. So there's that. There you go. Get, we'll get a little more into the packaging in a second. We have one for the iPhone 5, which I would assume would also work on an iPod Touch 5th generation but um, the cutout at the top would obviously be a little bit different, but I imagine it would work. Here we have one for the Galaxy S3. There we go. Here we have one for the iPad Mini. There you go, very similar. And of course, for you know the full-on uh, 9.7 inch iPad. So the devices I actually do have are the iPad, I have a Galaxy S3 right now, and an iPhone 4, all the respective devices. I actually have right up here actually so we have uh, the iPhone 4s which you know obviously the same size as the iPhone 4 we have the uh, Galaxy S3 there and we also have the 10 inch iPad I believe these retail for $20 a piece uh, if you look at the little information up here you can see we have they, they start at $19.99 I'm really not sure if there's a difference between the iPad or the Galaxy S3 or the iPhone I imagine there is, but I'm not sure how much. But go ahead and head over to Pure Gear's website, scan that QR code, and uh, find out more information about this. So I figured what I would do, make this unboxing a little bit more interesting, is I'm actually going to apply one of these. And I'll do it on my daily driver here, the iPhone 4S. So here we have the iPhone 4S. I do have a case on it. There's currently no screen protector on it. I will take the case off uh, just because I think it will provide for an easier experience. I've uh, got some dust and stuff on the back here, but I'm going to put this down and I will go ahead and crank open the uh, actual screen protector. So actually, you know, we'll have a quick look around the box right here. So as you can see, easy one-touch installation. We'll see how that goes. Um, I've, I have faith in Pure Gear though. Uh, Self-sealing, bubble-free technology. Like I said, that's a big deal to me. Remove and reapply, also a big deal. If, you know, Say, for example, one day you're just not digging that screen protector. You can take it off and it will stick again. It will live to stick another day. Uh, quality screen protection, so I, I don't doubt that. Pure Gear really does make quality stuff. I've never had a problem with quality from Pure Gear in the past. All right, and uh, ripping this thing apart here. And uh, I think that's all we have. It's a really thin packaging. You really can't uh, get in here all that well. But uh, yeah, that's all that's in there. And so now we have something that looks like this. So this looks like you know, like the application tool. So I imagine this is going to be relatively straightforward. So we'll open this guy. And get our little uh, application tool out of here. And we'll see how this goes. So it looks like this thing actually doubles as a cleaning, uh, cleaning cloth. See if you can get sort of a feel for the texture that's on that. So I think this separates from here. I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, I don't want to ruin it, but it looks like it is peeling pretty easily. So I'm just going to peel that guy off. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and wipe off the phone here. Here's the actual screen protector, and we have a 1 and a 2. So, um, you know, by natural choice, I would assume we do 1 first. And if you look at 1 here, it says... Please peel off this mask before application. So I think what we're going to do here is peel this back, 
line this guy up, apply it, and then we're gonna peel back. Maybe like the green goes away or something, I guess we'll have to see. So we're gonna peel back the one, and so the green does go, but yeah, it says there's a mask on top, so that's good. So while you're putting it on, you don't get any like fingerprints or anything on it. Makes it uh, for a nice clean installation. So let's go ahead and we'll do this. And I'm really gonna try my best not to get too much, uh, you know, like arm cam here, but uh, we'll see. Okay, I think we have a uh, at least a decent application for now. So there are some air bubbles, but they're going away actually very easily. So if you look down here, I don't know how well uh, you guys will be able to see this because of my horrible lighting situation. It is a little bit off-centered, so I mean, it's not perfect. Um, someone followed me on Twitter, thank you very much for that. But uh, yeah, it's definitely not perfect, so I will continue to mess with this for a second here. Alright, so I think I have a little bit better of an application here this time. And so I'm going to go and give this one last kind of, you know, push on here. And by the way, these million air bubbles will go away. That's, I assume, this top layer, uh, this top layer, rather. So what I'll do is I'll peel this guy back. Oh, that one didn't quite stick. Yeah, these corners don't seem to want to stick all that well. By the way, I'm sorry if I'm going out of frame. I can't really see my monitor very well right now. But there we go. So I will uh, go ahead and try to get this at different angles. As you can see, we really are pretty much air bubble free. Uh, I, I see nothing that's going crazy. It's driving me just absolutely nuts. Uh, we do have a pretty clean installation down here by the home button. Uh, it is lined up pretty well. Uh, I really have no complaints other than I think the roll-on screen shield is easier. That really is, I think, the best way to do a screen shield. Uh, that thing was really like hassle-free, just all around awesome, extremely easy. This one still is not perfect. This On this side comes like right to the edge of the screen, whereas this one comes kind of closer to the edge of the bezel. So mine could be slid over a little bit, but overall, I think it's good enough. It's still going to offer you know, a lot of protection on the screen. And for 20 bucks, I think it's going to be one of the better screen shields. Um, I can't really say that with absolute confidence because I haven't tried... Uh, any other solutions from other companies but this seems that it will be a pretty good solution for you and like I said you can take this off and fix it if you're kind of OCD about that kind of thing. So be sure to let me know what you guys think about the reshield from Pure Gear. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and I hope to see you guys back here in my next video.